How's it going everybody? This is Derek Lamaru, and in this 60 second tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a custom workspace in Premiere Pro. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you're on the editing tab. Then you're gonna go up to Windows, click on Workspaces, and click on Reset to Save Layout. Now we're starting from scratch. Premiere Pro has a lot of panels that open by default. Not all of these I use, so I'm gonna close the ones that I don't use on a regular basis to keep my workspace organized. In order to close panels in Premiere Pro, you're gonna click on the three lines and click Close Panel. To move a window in Premiere Pro, you're gonna click on the name of the window and then you're gonna drag it to where you wanna move it. Once you get the green bar, it's creating like a new row or new column all together. So you can do it on the top, the bottom, or the left and the right. I like my sequences to be at the bottom, so I'm gonna drag it here, let go, and now my sequences have added to the bottom. If I wanna move it up or down, I just go to find my cursor and then drag it up or down to scale the size. I'm gonna delete this sequence. I'm going to bring my toolbar beside my sequence by clicking it and dragging it and this is going to allow me four options, the top, left, right, or the bottom. Now if I let go of my cursor, I can drop this toolbar right beside the sequence on the left hand side. Now I'm going to bring my project panel to the left hand side following the green bar, resizing it, resize everything else to match, and then I'm going to bring my effects panel up beside. And then I'm gonna bring my audio gain bar down beside my sequence settings. Resize my sequence to fit most of the screen. Now to save your workspace, you're gonna go up to Window, Workspaces, Save as New Workspace. And then just title it something like Your Name, Laptop, and then click OK. Now you can go up to all the different workspaces at the top and look through to find yours. And then click on it and you'll see that it's different. If you ever need to reset your workspace that you're in, you can go to Windows, Workspaces, Reset to Save Layout. 